Well, there are places across East Tennessee that lie in decay where people built their lives and now they sit empty. And this week we're taking you across East Tennessee as we explore abandoned places. Leslie Ackerson takes us in an old general store in McMinn County this morning. To the average passerby, the little white buildings on State Route 163 between Delano and Calhoun are just rickety structures. To the locals who've grown up there, they bring back memories of bologna sandwiches and good conversation. This building here has been here for over 100 years. It's part of us. Untouched for years, it's not much to look at, but True's General Store was once a fixture in this McMinn community. It's witnessed a lot of history in our county. And according to historian Fred Underdown, it's where customers filled up on gossip and goods. Came here to find out the news, what Mr. Jones is doing, what happened to Harriet. Oh, did you hear about Mrs. Mabel? She's got uh, a new hat. Hats, shoes, fertilizer and farming equipment, plus candy for the kids. It was all in stock. In its day, this was Walmart because they had everything. And these cheese wheels are a hint of the most popular item that drew the crowds. Bologna and cheese. And they had a big old cheese cutter about this big around and they'd slice it. So you had bologna, cheese and light bread. Sandwiches served with kindness by Mortimer True's mother and father. My grandfather started a store here in 1890. Dad and, and uh, took, took it over as a teenager and they stayed busy. The small store offered a place of trust. And I can remember some people out of the uh, mountains would come here to trade with Dad because they couldn't count. They knew that he'd give them their change, whatever it was. It was April 1st, 1996, at age 87, Mr. True died. We just closed the doors and I bought out the air so that it would uh, just be here because it was where Dad had spent his life. 23 years of sitting stagnant and break-ins have deteriorated the beloved building. Abandoned merchandise still scattered across the shelves. And there's just a lot of things here that, that you walk by and you've never seen before in your life. And, and I think it's pretty cool. Weathered advertisements cling to the walls. While its appearance may be shabby, it's a reminder of the simpler times for historian Bill Bigham. Well, it just means so much to me. You know, how long did it take to, to cut these boards? It, it, it's just amazing. People don't really see it. They haven't given up on the store. The Historical Society is working to raise money and apply for grants. Put a new roof on to, to save it and maybe get some volunteers to come down and paint the building and, and keep the building up. A dream of restoration that could let the legacy of this little building live on. 100 years of history is a lot of history, folks. That's a lot of history. True store is listed on the National Register of Historic Places. And as they mentioned, they're trying to raise money and secure grants to bring it back to life. Right now on WBR.com, you can continue exploring True's general store. Digital storyteller Elizabeth Sims has put together photo galleries, behind the scene videos, and an immersive 360 experience. You can also watch a Heartland series that we did there back in the 90s. Back to you. That is really that incredible. Is. All right, coming up.